do. There we go. Hello, peoples of the internet. I have something, in my opinion, very cool to show off today. It is the self entitled Super Pi SP slash Super Game Pi. It's a project built, um, built and designed, built by me, designed by Adafruit. And the frame is actually constructed from a 3D printed case designed by someone off Thiniverse. And so without further ado, let me show it off. Um, it is a multi-platform emulation station. So it'll run pretty much any game pre-2000, console game pre-2000, which basically means PlayStation 1, um, Nintendo 64, and downward. It'll run pretty much any mobile game, like Game Boy Advance and downward. I can't remember what year the Game Boy Advance came out, but it'll run pretty much any game, Game Boy Advance SP and downward. It is running off a of Raspberry Pi, and the software using is Emulation Station um, as the front end, and the back end is a distribution of Raspberry Pi called Retro Pi, and that's Retro P-I-E as shown in this little picture right here. Um, the device has six buttons, one, two, three, four, two on the top, and it has a four-way um, thumbstick, which is an analog thumbstick, but it is interpreted through a small board as four different key presses. And so we have, you know, up, down, left, right, and so forth. I still have to get the key bindings just right, um, but for the most part it works. So you can go ahead and open up the Game Boy Advance, go to, I don't know, what do you guys want to play? How about something that's quick and easy to get into, like uh, maybe Zelda Link to the Past? I think I have a profile set up here. Um, it wrote, let, run some code to get the emulator up and running, and then here we are, link to the past. And let that load. Do, 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 do. There you go. Right now, there's no audio support available. It'll be pretty easy to add in the future, but I didn't quite have the, um, the budget to get the audio built in at the moment. And so we are currently without audio, which isn't too much of a problem for me. Um, so there we go. I don't know how many people remember this. I sure don't because I never played this game until now. But here we go. So you can run around. Works really fine. You got diagonals. I forgot to get the lantern, but that's okay. Uh, run up and down. If I had the lantern, I could show you that I could push buttons. Um, hit the save key. I can save. I can sleep. I can continue. Um, but I'm done with the simulator for now. So I go ahead and hit this button right here which breaks out of the game forcefully so it doesn't save anything and brings us back to the main menu. From here I can um, oop, open up the main menu again, exit out of that, go back again. So as you can see I have currently some games from Macintosh, um, NES, some IBM games, some ports, uh, the config settings, some adventure games, some text-based adventure games, Amiga, Apple II, GBA, and back to Macintosh. Um, now the cool thing about this, and I'll show you the peripherals real quick, is that there is a power switch right here. There is a charging port right here, right here. And then there is the uh, externals of the Raspberry Pi right here. So four USB and an ethernet. It runs off a 6,600 milliamp battery behind these buttons, which will last me about eight hours on a full charge. And then here's my hat button right here. When I get the speakers, they'll go one right there, the other right there. I still have to install the start and select buttons right here. Flip it over, pretty lackluster, just boring bottom. Um, buttons I got from Micro Center, as I said, the design's from Adafruit. Um, it runs off of Raspberry Pi 2. And that is about all of the simple technical details. As you can see, I can bring out my keyboard here. And if you want to get to really fun mode, plug the keyboard into the back. Let's see if it is. F4, break out, and I have the full Raspberry Pi shell. And so, um, as you can see, I can go LS, I can type LS, and then I can go CD, um, retro pi LS, um, CD ROMs. 
So those are a list of all the different systems and supports. It's kind of probably hard to see on the screen. I'm not quite sure. There we go. So those are that's just an example of many of the supported systems. I can let you pause and read them if you're really into that. Um, PSX stands for PlayStation One. So I'm gonna boot that up back into Emulation Station. And there you have it. That's pretty much all. If you have any questions, feel free to leave comments, yell at me, um, spam me, do whatever you people like to do. Thank you. Oh, and here's my face.